Hey folks, Tracy here with Scrappy's Rustics. Y'all, I gotta tell you, I filmed this when we did not have power during Hurricane Helene. So I'm showing you the Kitschy IOD 8-page transfer book. Y'all, this is just full of meat. And it has some really great little ones. It has a really great variety, but it has a good selection of little ones you can make your own Christmas ornaments with. And the other one I'm going to show you is Yuletide. Um, I, these are still available. It is, what is it, October 2024. I, got a, I have a good stash amount left. And um, these sold out at IOD already. So whatever is out there in the universe is what is left. So this one's more woodland. However, they do go hand in hand. This one also goes with last year's book. Um, actually, both of them. There was a fairies and a... I can't remember the name of the other one, but the color schemes, they all kind of go together. So for one book, you can certainly get a ton of projects out of, and these are rub-on transfers. So it's Yuletide and Kitschy. Kitschy. I'm probably saying that wrong. So prior to this video, I casted some of the Bibelets. I'm probably saying that wrong too. The Ornaments Mold. <laughs> there it is. But Bible if I hear it, I can say it, and then I don't know. And um, I used Alumalite. Alumalite? clear casting resin. I do have an affiliation link on my website also with a 10% discount code. So I'm going to simply put transfers on top of these. There's so many ways you can style these, color them, different resins. It's pretty amazing and I think you're going to see a lot of different things being done with these ornaments. I think these this one's going to be kind of a big deal and maybe come up a little late in the sellout um, department because People maybe just don't know what to do with them, but already I've seen so many amazing projects with these, so very versatile. So I like to cut off the backing um, and put it to the size of my piece before, because remember, it's it's real, real thin, sticky, and you want it to get on your surface. So I'm just doing a once-over. Your book will come with a little stick. I'm just doing and I didn't put anything down. This is going right on top of the resin. You could paint these. You could seal it. I mean, there's so many things you could do with these, but I'm just straight up putting the transfer on first. We're going to do three of them, and every every one is the same technique. Just rub it down, and then you want to make sure you burnish it, and that just means, you know, I like to use my finger. Just push it down. Make sure it's adhered all the way around. So see how I cut that off? If you were to peel that white backing off and that was hanging over, there's no there's nothing for that to stick to. So it's just going to kind of hang there and probably end up getting stuck to your finger, and it's really hard to get off. So ironically, I ended up using those two pieces you see on the top there on um, of the ornament we're doing right now. And it came out really cute. So again, just rubbing it on and peeling it back. Take your time. Go slow because if it doesn't go down, you can just lay your um, the top sheet down and push and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Um, so yeah, so I'm just cutting these to size and I'm going to stick them on the corners. And uh, this comes out really cute. And I end up using, in the end, um, it's called Pentart Varnish and Glue, and it's glitter, and it's really fine iridescent glitter, and it's really hard to pick up on the camera, but it just gives it that nice sheen, plus it's it seals it. I just, I can't wait to put these behind some Christmas lights. They're going to be gorgeous. These are mirror images of each other, so you can also do 3D. You can... Um, reverse decoupage you could cast um another set either in fast cast resin which is white or if you only have clear and paint it and you can sandwich transfers in between you can take there's so much to be done with these so i'm using chalk couture um metallics i love these i do have an affiliate for them as well all paint products they have a pretty big um selection of all kinds of stuff but they have i love their metallics so i decided i think this color is called amazon and it's a green you could use waxes, you could use paint, you could dry brush. So here's the varnish and glue with glitter. Um, I'm not a big glitter fan. However, this is totally contained and I'm all for it. It dries clear um, and it's just got just the right amount of iridescent in it just to give it to a little, a little sparkle. So just put it on. It might be cloudy at first, but it will dry clear and it's sealing it at the same time. I also um, end up putting jute hangers on the back of this. Actually, hemp jewelry wire because, or not hemp, hemp jewelry jute, I guess it's called. I don't know. Look, there's my my heat tool. <laughs> Y'all, I didn't have any power. So the lighting is not the greatest. And uh, there's, there's my new heat tool, which it was so hot, 
well, we had AC going once we got the generators going and such, but, um, yeah, that's my heat tool. So I'm, I'm creating with no power, <laughs> it, almost nine days of no power and 15 days without fiber. Thank you, Starlink. So I thought this Starbond, like, uh, crazy glue stuff would really hold this hemp, you know, quickly, but it didn't like it didn't at all. It took longer to it. So I ended up getting that Pentart heavy body gel in the gloss. The gloss dries crystal clear. And that's what I used on the other two. And it was much better than the uh, super glue. So I hope this inspired you in some way. If you like my style, I'd love for you to smash that subscription button and check out our website at scrappiesrustics.com. All the things that I use today can be found there or on my affiliate links as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.